All right, what is up, YouTube? Mcole Forty here. It's been a long, long time since we've done a special deck profile to commemorate the event. I believe the last one was on Christmas. Well, today we're going to be doing a special Easter deck profile. And yes, for those of you out there that do celebrate this, happy Easter. I you know, hope you guys have had a good weekend. I hope everything has been, well, as great as it could actually be over the holidays, you know. You should be off work, you should be enjoying yourself, you should be eating lots of food with your family. Maybe that's Easter, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but, nonetheless, you know, I hope you had a good, good relaxation period. And, of course, you YouTubers don't get to stop. So, we were we were looking at the, the whole bunny archetypes, or the bunny cards in the game, uh, between uh, Mecha Bunny and a few other ones that didn't make the initial cut to this build. Um, we actually started the base for this particular deck um, with the inclusion of Bunny Blast, because Bunny Waifu is always going to be getting the most particular love out of any of the cards. But the Zoo Engine is still very strong, and I think a lot of people... Even though um, producing boss monsters, rotating through these things, uh, I think a lot of people still kind of underestimate um, what this does. But if you have her underneath an Xyz, she grants uh, spell protection. Uh, it's nothing too special, but in terms of just being able to start off as a base, overlay with it, and move along with our day, um, and possibly start climbing up some Mrs. Radiant Ladders. Um, this was by far one of the first places I wanted to go. Uh, the second place we were looking at going with this deck, we were considering doing something uh, with level of my area beat Gravity Bind and trying the whole old Dream Clown thing, because uh, Blade Rabbit here actually goes with the beautiful, it changed from attack position to defense mode, and uh, you get to destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, the whole rotation access for, um, what was it, the old Pac-Man decks, um, and, you know, clown control and things like that. Uh, we actually decided to scrap that, just kind of combined the engines together at one point. Um, so, let's dig into the deck, shall we? Uh, triple Blade Rabbit, Triple Ghost Ogre, Triple Rescue Rabbit, Triple Rescue Rabbit, uh, excuse me, Rescue Cat and Rescue Rabbit. Some of them right. Triple Wind Up Rabbit. This actually, the third thing, ironically enough, we were actually going to do a Cyframe Duck profile to commemorate April 1st, but... We're not going to kill two birds with one stone here. We're just going to put Wind Up Rabbit in here uh, for the most optimal. And then, of course, Triple Bunny Blast, one Rat Pier, Triple Throw Blade, and two Whip Tail. We're still very, very heavy on the initial engine uh, for Zoo, but Zoo still has great value. And then three copies of Vanilla. This rabbit's got a sweet tooth. He's on a quest for the world's sweetest carrot and just wants to nibble carrots all day, tomorrow and the day after that. Such a sweet little guy. And then spells, one Foolish Bro, one Monster Reborn, triple Barrage, triple Goes and Match, one Judgment, three Strikes, and one Warning. We're putting a lot of emphasis on Goes and Match actually in this matchup. Everything outside of Ogre um, literally should be pertaining to Earth, which, just showing you all it is. Um, you're basically trying to play the deck as a way to slow down the opponent uh, from capitalizing, punishing them on the attributes. Uh, we were actually we were considering playing Dark Rabbit actually uh, to make use out of the oh oh so beautiful fact that um, he is a, basically a tomb monster, but he is dark attribute, which really kind of took away from the fun. And then the extra deck, one Saruja, triple Mrs. Reading. You can kick one of these out for something else, but we found that we definitely liked Earth Synergy. One Link Kribo, one Link Spider, one Borload, and then two of each Zoo card. And then the side deck's pretty standard, honestly. Uh, Triple Lancia, the weapon of choice on Easter. Uh, some Kaijus to go help us find our Easter eggs. One Dark Hole, one Slumber, one Regeki, Triple Twin Twisters, kinda, kinda looks like Easter eggs with the tokens. And then Triple Anti-Spell Fragrance, where we hide our eggs, because we're just savages. Outside of that, let's shuffle this up a little bit here. Gotta have a little bit of fun here. Oh my god, this hand's actually pretty good. Uh, you get to rescue Rabbit out two vanillas and make your good friend Mrs. Radiant. You actually have Goes and Match and Strike. That's actually not too damn bad. <laughs> an opening hand, actually. It's pretty good. Um, we opened up Throw Blade. Oof, normal summon Throw Blade discard. Uh, you grab a Rescue Rabbit. Actually, this hand's actually not really bad because you can start off with a Barrage, go into a Throw Blade, discard the Bunny uh, draw. Um, you have options here. Actually, you should be ending on a very strong board here because you can uh, cat out and bring out the the two rescue rabbits here, 
or blade rabbits, and then make Mrs. Radiant and continue along with your day. Actually, that looks pretty good. Oh, rabbit ghost ogre. Well, we have some sort of protection with a strike. We drew a bunny, but it's fine because this just turns out into a Mrs. Radiant. Inside of that, oh, just just a little bit of fun today. You know, it it is a holiday. It is this a great time to sit back, relax, and remember. You know, Easter. Easter is a good holiday. So, hope you guys, if you if you mess around with this deck today, I'll tell you this. From the hands I've seen and the couple of games I've played with this, you know, granted I didn't get more than one win, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and it's all about honoring the spirit of our sweet tooth bunny. Look at this guy. He he knows exactly what he wants in life. So, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and there will be some matches up later today as well, so enjoy those. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.